In this video, I want to introduce you to systems of differential equations. Now, in some textbooks, you might see this referred to as coupled differential equations. I prefer to call them systems because you don't have to just have two differential equations. You can extend this further. Okay? So it makes more sense to call it systems rather than coupled. But the situations that we're going to deal with, there's only going to be two. So the archetypal situation for systems of differential equations is the predator-prey module, a model, rather. Um, so that's where you have a certain number of rabbits and a certain number of foxes. So we're going to use R to represent the number of rabbits and F to represent the number of foxes. So you can build two differential equations. One that tells you the rate at which the number of rabbits is changing over time, and one for the number of foxes over time. Now, this is only going to be a simple model. Okay. Um, this is assuming, of course, uh, that there is enough space, um, that these are the only two animals that are in this system, um, in this environment, that are interacting with one another. Um, so, and there's enough food for the rabbits as well. Okay? So, the way that this is set up is it starts off by saying, right, we're going to have a certain number of, so the dr by dt rather, is that uh, is going to be equal to, well, the rabbits are going to be mating with one another and their number is going to be increasing. So this is assuming that they've got enough food to do this, of course. So let's say we're going to have 3r. Okay, so at the moment, if dr by dt is 3r, then the number of rabbits is just going to increase indefinitely. Okay. However, the rabbits are being hunted by foxes, and their number is being affected by that. So we might have something like take away 2f. So the larger the population of foxes, the uh, worse off the rabbits will be doing. Okay, that's why it's negative. Whereas for the foxes, the more rabbits there are, the more foxes there are going to be. So we could put in 2r here, for example. And the more foxes there are, the more foxes there will be, because they are mating as well. So we could have something like 4f. And this sets up a system of differential equations. And of course, you could have initial conditions for this. So when t is 0, you could say that there were 100 rabbits, and there were 15 foxes, for example. Okay. So, how do you go about uh, solving a system of differential equations? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to number these 1 and 2. Okay. Now, what we can do um, is, first of all, take one of your differential equations. Okay. So, this is where you're going to focus. Are you, are you going to focus on the foxes or on the rabbits? Really up to you. So let's say I focused on the foxes. And for equation two, I'm going to differentiate it. OK, so let's call this now equation three. I'm going to differentiate equation two. So I'm going to get d2f by dt squared is equal to two lots of dr by dt plus 4 df by dt. OK? So, what I want to do is I want to get an equation here, a differential equation, that just involves f. OK? So I don't want the dr by dt. Now, I know that dr by dt is this. 3r take away 2f from a question one, uh, from equation one. So what I could do is I could replace the dr by dt with this. So two lots of 3r take away 2f. So three lots of two, sorry, two lots of 3r, so 6r, and then two lots of minus 2f, so minus 4f. 
and we've got the plus 4 df by dt on there. Now the problem is that this still involves r, so don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to equation 2 and I'm going to rearrange this to get r equals. So if I subtract 4f from both sides and divide through by 2, I would get 1 half df by dt, take away 2f. And now I can replace my r in here. So six lots of this would get me 3 df by dt, take away uh, 12f. I've got the minus 4f there. I've got the 4, oh, sorry, 4 df by dt. And then rearrange it. So I've got 3, 7, so take away 7 df by dt. Then I've got the minus 12f, take away 4f, so minus 16f, add 16f to both sides is equal to 0. And what I end up with is a second order differential equation we all know and love and we know how to solve. Okay, so that would allow me to then solve this differential equation uh, and find f equals and then I could substitute it into this to work out what r is equal to. Okay, now I'm not actually going to do that because I've, I've made the numbers up. Um, so, probably not going to be particularly nice in doing that. Okay, but that is the method that we are going to use here. Okay, so that's our method. Um, and we're going to go through some examples in this section to see how it works in general.